Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And if you're new here, my name is Yolanda. I go by Yolanda in the city on TikTok and Instagram. I post a lot of fashion related content. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe and like this video. Today I will be sharing with you guys all of the products that I bought when I first started sewing back in March. I know that when you first start sewing it can get a little overwhelming with all of the sewing materials that there are out there and you don't really know what's worth it to invest in and what's not. So that is what I'm here for. I'm going to be showing you guys all the stuff that I bought. I didn't have a large budget when I first started sewing. So I'm just going to show you guys the bare essentials that you will need to sew your first garment. Most of the products that I purchased are from Amazon so I will be leaving all of those links in my description box so you guys can check them out if you want to purchase them also a little disclaimer that I did not go to fashion school and I am NOT a professional just to give you guys a little background story I started sewing back in March when quarantine started sewing is honestly something that I've always been interested in ever since I was a kid I wouldn't really say that I like learned from anyone I kind of just took a random piece of fabric ran it through my machine and that's kind of just how I learned now if you want to learn how to sew I'm just gonna tell you right now that it's going to take a lot of patience and determination if you're one to give up on things quickly it's probably not for you because your first garment or your first 10 garments are not going to be perfect and you can't learn everything before you actually get down to sewing you kind of just have to go into it blindly and just trust the process every project that you make is going to make you a better designer a better sewer so you just have to have patience also i am here to tell you that you do not have to go to fashion school or you don't have to subscribe to some kind of fashion course online you can absolutely learn everything online on youtube there are tutorials for absolutely everything and if you get stuck on something like a button or your thread gets stuck there's tutorials for that too you can literally learn everything everything on youtube okay, with that being said the first thing that you're going to need is a sewing machine i watched a ton of videos before purchasing mine but in particular i watched this one from with wendy on her channel she tried out a whole bunch of sewing machines and she kind of just outlined the essential criteria that you should consider when you're purchasing a sewing machine and i will leave that linked in the description as well so i have the singer heavy duty 4432 she actually didn't recommend this this is just one that i found and i am so pleased with it every time someone asks me what sewing machine i recommend i recommend this one it's amazing it does handle all types of fabric leather denim and i feel like it's the perfect beginner sewing machine it's not too expensive i feel like 200 dollars is like the perfect amount to spend on a sewing machine when you're getting started anything less than this is going to be way too cheap and it's not going to handle the thick fabrics and anything more expensive than this is going to be unnecessary if you're not doing it professionally and you're just doing it as a hobby now if 200 dollars is still kind of expensive for you i would recommend checking out offer up or facebook marketplace people upload them every single day and so i would recommend maybe checking that out sometimes they're brand new people buy sewing machines and then they never use them and they end up selling them on offer up for like half the price and they're they're like still in the box brand new so definitely check that out before you purchase on amazon my sewing machine has 32 different stitches and an automatic one step buttonhole it has a drop in bobbin a free arm it has measurement markings a threader a cutter and it has a reverse stitch these are all things that you're going to want in your sewing machine i'm also going to link a few other options of sewing machines within the same price range if you really don't like this one and you want to check out other ones i will leave those in the description box next thing you going to need is a thread set so you can get a whole pack of them on amazon i got mine for 31 dollars it's not the best quality but if you're just getting started i feel like this is a really great option this is the brother uh embroidery thread and it comes with all these different colors next thing you guys are gonna need are a pack of clear bobbins these i also got on amazon i would go with the clear ones because if you have a transparent bobbin cover you can kind of when you're sewing you can kind of see through the cover when you're running out and that's helpful just so that you don't run out of thread in the middle of your project i recommend these clear bobbins from amazon they were about ten dollars and you're going to need a lot of these when i first started sewing i didn't even know what these were but i soon came to realize that these are very very important especially if you're going to be sewing a lot of different fabrics and a lot of different colors you need a bobbin for every colored thread that you're going to be using okay next thing you guys are going to need are a pair of good fabric scissors these were about 12 dollars on amazon 
And yes, you can use your kitchen scissors or your paper scissors to cut fabric, but you're gonna have a really hard time. And the fabric scissors are super sharp and especially for fabric, so it's really important that you have one of these. If you get fabric scissors, make sure you just use them on fabric so that they'll last you a long time. Next thing you guys are gonna need are some pins. These are super essential for keeping everything in place. If you're folding over a seam or anything like that, you're going to need pins and you can also get a pin cushion, but I usually just keep them in this little container, but I would recommend the pin cushion just because whenever I reach in here without looking, I like poke myself and with the pin cushion, that doesn't happen. Next thing you're gonna need is a seam ripper. I feel like there's not really much that goes into this. You just needed to rip the seams in case you mess up. You might wanna get one with good grip because seam ripping is so annoying already and it takes forever and you don't want an uncomfortable seam ripper that's going to hurt your fingers. I don't know how many variations of seam rippers there are out there. It's pretty basic, it just looks like this. And yeah, that's you just need one that's sharp and that has good grip and that's all. Next thing you're gonna need are these little like snippy scissors. These are really important for when you wanna cut like little threads and you don't wanna like grab your big fabric scissors like this, you just wanna snip away like a little thread these are very important and super useful another thing that might come in useful is a lint roller when you're done with your project you're probably gonna have little pieces of thread just like everywhere and so you can just you know take them off with this and it makes your life easier next you're going to need some fabric chalk I got this Taylor's chalk from Amazon I don't remember how much it cost I think it was about five to ten dollars i really don't remember but it comes with all of these different colored chalks it comes with white blue yellow red and they're shaped like a triangle so it makes it super easy to just like draw the lines you know and then it washes off in the washer or just like with your finger if you rub it hard enough it'll like disappear next you're going to need an acrylic grid ruler it would be nice if you guys got the ones with the degree line indicators in case you want to draw angles or anything like that that would be really useful but mine doesn't have them and it's worked pretty well for me so far these rulers can go anywhere from 10 to 20 dollars not super expensive you can get it at joann's or amazon next thing you're gonna need is a curve ruler i actually don't have mine i broke it so i need to go get another one but basically you need the curve ruler if you're ever drawing like waistlines or maybe like sleeves you're going to need a curve ruler it's super important so get yourself one okay next thing you're gonna need is an iron bought this iron for $30 on Amazon and so far so good it's worked amazing I don't even iron on an iron board I kind of just put a towel on the floor and I iron my fabric that way I'm super cheap I'll link it in my description box as well next thing you guys are gonna need is some pattern paper pattern paper can get really expensive if you buy the professional ones what I did was I went to Walmart and I bought this packing paper I think it was about three dollars I got two rolls and it's lasted me a pretty long time it's packing paper like the kind that you put in packages it's worked just great as pattern paper you can also use like gift wrapping paper and those are actually better because you have the grid lines and you can like cut straight lines with that so yeah I would recommend doing that the rolls at Walmart go for about three dollars anywhere from three to ten dollars I can't remember exactly but it was definitely less than ten dollars so yeah Okay, next thing you guys are gonna need are some hand needles. There are going to be some projects where you can't really fit the fabric um, into the machine or you can't really sew what you need to sew with the sewing machine. So you're going to need to sew by hand and so therefore hand needles are super important. I would recommend just buying like a huge pack of them because they get lost really easily and yeah, you can never really have enough hand needles. Another thing you're also gonna need is several packs of these sewing machine needles. There's been projects where I've only had like maybe two needles to work with and I end up breaking both and then I have to stop my project, go to the store, buy a bunch of needles. It is absolutely annoying when that happens so I would recommend just buying a huge pack of sewing machine needles just to have just in case next thing you're gonna need is a tape measure this is super important for when you're taking your waist measurements or just any measurement 
when you're making a garment. It's super inexpensive. I'll also put the link for this in the description. Okay, last but not least is a dress form. Now, dress forms are not beginner essentials, but I do think that they will make your sewing process so much easier. There's times when you are working on a project or just designing something and you need to see how it looks on the body, but like, you don't want to put it on your body because you have a bunch of pins on it and I don't know. I just feel like uh, dress forms just make everything so much easier. So I actually got mine for my birthday last year. My parents bought it for me. It was about $200. I got it from Mannequin Mall. I know it's kind of expensive, but I promise it'll be worth it. Just make sure that the measurements of the body form match your measurements and if you don't want to spend $200, there are cheaper alternatives on Amazon and also check out OfferUp and Facebook Marketplace. I guarantee you'll probably find something that works for you. Okay, you guys, I think that is all. I hope this video was helpful. Let me know if you guys want me to recreate anything. Let me know in the comments. I'm going to do a sewing project for next week's video, so stay tuned for that. Get excited and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and I'll see you guys next time.